babes welcome back to my channel i am sinona the april if you're new to the channel welcome if you are returning welcome back so today's video is a hair tutorial i will show you how to achieve this look how to get these curls so in the next video is where i take you step by step how to do one knots the products that you use the lock method that i do and then i will show you afterwards how it looks i hope you do enjoy today's video I'm going to show you how to um, do bantu knots on natural hair and the whole purpose and whole point of this is that we want to get curls so I used to do this when I had a straight blowout before I cut my hair so I'm actually doing this for the first time just to see if it's going to work on my natural hair so right now I just washed my hair so it's still soaking wet so what you are going to use here it's any product that you use to moisturize your hair so i'm going to do the lock method right now so my hair is already wet so i'm not going to spray it again um with water so i am going to use this um, shea butter from native child so i'm going to use this and I'm going to use this grape seed oil as you can see I've been using it so I actually need to buy a new stock so grape seed oil and this castor oil so this castor also these are the products that I'm going to use so in order to make it easy for myself I am going to mix both or uh, three all three in my hand and then just I will show you the process I'll show you just a few and then after I assume that you got the hang of it, then I will just come back after I've done the whole head. Um, so let's start off by first um, sectioning our hair. So I think I am going to take this part. So stretch it with your hands before putting product. So that's what we're going to do when we put product. So excuse me if I'm looking this way, I'm looking at my mirror. So what I'm going to do just take a little bit of the shea butter just a little bit put that um not actually okay it's fine put it in your palm of your hand i'm going to take a little bit of the castor oil i don't think i'm going to use the grapeseed oil or should i let me use it and then do that you know the easiest thing to do um i used to do this i don't know why i stopped but the easiest thing is to mix all of these products into one thing then it's easier like that so basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to mix it with my fingertips like this then actually take it with my fingertips you see the part that we've parted just try starting at the ends and then making your way up then what we are going to do let me take the little bit that is left try and make sure that you get to the roots all right so this is what we are going to do so we are going to twist this part all right i don't know if you can see but we are twisting twisting then after we've twisted then we're peeling it down then twisting twisting some more so that is what we want to achieve with yeah so that the whole head is going to be covered with this little bunch of knots so let's do a few more just a few more and then i will just finish the rest on my own then I'll come back and show you how the full head look. I actually think I'm going to mix this together because this is going to take more time to do this. Um, it's just going to take... Okay, let's just go in. Take the part again, starting from the ends. Okay, using your fingertips. Right sure you get the root all right there we go then we twist again make sure you take even pieces okay so that it looks nice at the end so twist it again 
if your hair is not long enough what you can use is you can use a wool to actually keep it in place so you twist it twist it and then just tie it with the wool so all right i'm going to do that and then come back to you and show you how it looks yeah so i'm done doing my bantu knots it actually took uh, like plus minus like 30 minutes it's yeah it takes quite a long time to finish but i did the whole head and this is how it looks it's nothing cute um so i normally keep it two to three days um, just to make sure that um, the curls are well done if I can put it like that but I've noticed when I used to do it when I had my straight blowout if I do it over the weekend then it lasts the whole week but if I do it let's say today and then I take them out the next day then I will have to do them daily in order to have the curls nice and um, deep and whatever so I will then show you after two days how it looks so um, if you don't other people do rock them if you don't feel like rocking it like this then you can put on a duke or a wig um, for those two days and then you take them out and then I will show you after because um, now my hair is still um, wet so after it's dry and after the the curls have formed then I will then come back and show you how it looks all right so after i did the bundle knots i then decided to wear a wig the next day in order to now let them form properly so it's been a day and i took them off this morning but i didn't have time to do it at home